sitting there outside some of the stores. Yeah. yeah. Luckily, it's coming to an end, so that's good news. So we're uh, we're going to give you an update here weather-wise on the fire, the Miguelito fire burning up near Lompoc. We also just found out, too, that Highway 1 is closed up there because of the fire. Alan, what are the weather conditions up at the fire? Well, CJ, it's cooling down a little bit, but it's going to be very slow to cool down tonight. Temperature right now, 79 degrees. Afternoon high was in the mid-90s today in Lompoc. And the winds, no notable gusts, but we are seeing sustained winds finally under 10 miles an hour. And that humidity level beginning to inch up very slowly now at 21 percent. Lompoc actually one of the cooler spots at this last check. Current temps in the high 80s in Paso and San Luis Obispo. Also 88 in San Inez, 86 in Goleta, mid 90s in Santa Barbara still, and now dropping back down to near 80 for Oxnard. And for the time being tonight, we are seeing mostly a west wind, which for a majority of us along the coastline is a sea breeze effect, even a bit of a southwest wind in Santa Barbara. That's some good news that does transport a little bit of a cooler air effect onto the land and also increases the humidity. But it's really just a temporary fix as we are still under a red flag warning out towards Ventura County until 8 p.m. tomorrow. And this means, again, high fire danger continues. A gusty winds in that forecast tomorrow morning for Ventura, low relative humidity, and another round of some very hot temperatures. And that's exactly what we saw today. Oxnard and Camarillo both setting record high temperatures for this 13th day of May. Oxnard at 96 and Camarillo topping out at 97. A large dome of high pressure dominating the weather picture, making all the clouds go up and over the ridge. And this high pressure system is parked right over Northern California tonight. Here's the jet stream, which is the storm track. And I've laid down some weather features on our future cast so you can get an idea of what's happening. All the storminess stays well to our east. High pressure by Friday does weaken a little bit and shift to the east, but still it's going to maintain some hot temperatures, especially for the valleys. By the coast, though, for the afternoon, the onshore flow by then should start to return, and that'll mean a slight cool down, very slight, only a couple of degrees at first. You're probably not going to notice it, though, until we head towards the upcoming weekend. Tomorrow, Wednesday, hot and dry, average temp 70, and look at these numbers. Highs into the mid-90s across the south coast. Santa Maria, average high here, 68. Tomorrow, I am forecasting a high at 100 degrees. 101 in Paso, 99 expected in San Luis Obispo. Take a look at Ventura County, upper 90s to low 100s. The heat is on. Also, it's going to be very windy tomorrow morning again out across Ventura County and the Oxnard Plain. Look at the Santa Barbara seven-day forecast. There's that slight cool down on Friday, a much more noticeable cooling trend by the weekend. And as we head towards next week, we're actually going to see highs back to below average in many areas, including Santa Maria. We start at 100, and by next Monday, we're back down into the middle 60s. San Luis Obispo, very hot out there tomorrow with some warm overnight lows, back into the 99-degree club on Thursday, and then a little bit cooler Friday, some more comfortable weather, though, by the weekend. And in San Inez, sizzling hot temperatures on Wednesday, still a scorcher out there on Thursday. Finally, though, as we head towards Saturday and Sunday, not as hot, and then really a beautiful forecast for us as we head towards next week.